Hey, what's up my chemistry people? Uh, things are getting a little more exciting here. We're going to apply our understanding of assigning oxidation numbers to help us identify this reaction as a redox reaction. First thing I'm gonna do, magnesium oxidation state of zero. Then I'm gonna come over here to hydrogen, also oxidation state of zero. I like to take care of my elements first, easy peasy. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at water. Again, order of priority, I'm gonna assign the oxidation state of plus one to the hydrogen, because there are two of them, that means the oxidation state of oxygen in this compound must be minus two. Because if I sum together two positive ones and one negative two, I get a total of zero. And since water is a neutral compound, that is what I should expect. Okay, a quick hop skip over to magnesium hydroxide. I'm gonna start with magnesium. It'll have an oxidation state of plus two, that alkaline earth metal, group two. I come over to hydrogen, it's gonna have an oxidation state of plus one. And the oxygen here is also gonna have an oxidation state of negative two. Now, if this one's a little trickier for you, let's break it down. Magnesium, we know, is gonna have an oxidation state of plus two. There are two hydroxides. Boom. Each hydrogen plus one, each oxygen minus two. Plus two, minus two, plus one, minus two, plus one. Boom, sum zero. I'm a genius. I know. All right, so as we think about what thing has been oxidized or has lost electrons, that title goes to magnesium. Notice that it has gone from a zero oxidation state to a plus two oxidation state. It must have lost, you guessed it, two electrons. What has been reduced? Such a good question. What has gained electrons? In this case, the title goes to hydrogen. Notice that it goes from a plus one oxidation state to a zero oxidation state. So the H in H2O has been reduced. Just be aware that many times we will refer to the thing that has the element as the thing that's being reduced. So don't get thrown off here, even though it is just the hydrogen that is changing oxidation state. 